Your warm up is basically to think of some yes no question that you could ask about a string. For instance, one question that I might ask about a string is is it at least seven characters long? Something like that. Who can give me more yes no questions that we could ask about a string? Yeah. Does it have some character in it or uh, some character from a group of characters or something like that? Okay, what else? Yeah. Is there a character that is three times in a row? Okay, what else? Yeah. Is it empty? Okay. Is it finite? Okay, what else? Yeah. Is it a palindrome? That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, uh, is it a digit? It's like a number zero through nine or something like that. Or does it have a digit? Something like that. Other things. Yes. So does it have a finite alphabet? Okay. Yes. Yeah, does it have a character or some group of characters in it? What else? Other things, anything else you might want to ask about a string. How about this one? Is it a Java program? That's a question we can ask about a string. I can hand you a string and say, is this a valid Java program? We need to do this a lot, don't we? Uh, what, what do we call the, the things that answer this question of is it a Java program? We have a special name for that. Yeah, so compiler or, or interpreter uh, is the program that we have that just answers this question of is it a Java program? So when you compile Java, kind of the first thing that it does is it says, wait, was that even Java that you handed me? And if it, was, if it didn't look like Java, then it said, no, that's not valid Java. And if it did look like Java, then it does other stuff with it after that. How about this? Is it a Java program that will, let's say, print high? It's another one we could do. Is it a Java program that will print high? That's another question we could ask about strings. Yes? Is it a Java program that will eventually stop? So yes, that's another good question that we could ask about strings. So we oftentimes will ask this question of, is this program going to stop? Do I have any infinite loops in this program? Um, is it a good thing or a bad thing if we have infinite loops? It depends. It depends on what? on what you want it to do. Okay, so what's a situation where uh, an infinite loop is a bad thing? What is one situation like that? Maybe you're trying to do some arithmetic or something like that. You're trying to execute some arithmetic. Probably you wanted to get an answer eventually. You didn't want it to get stuck in an infinite loop somewhere. Uh, your 2150 homework, probably that's pretty universally bad if your 2150 homework has an infinite loop in it somewhere. Uh, what's a situation where an infinite loop is a good thing? Yeah. In a game, okay, you want your game to never stop, okay. Maybe it would be better for your GPA if it did stop, but, um, <laughs> but bad for the bottom line of the company, I guess. Okay, so if you've got a program that's maybe watching for updates on another thing, so if you're trying to, to constantly, I don't know, read weather reports or something like that, then maybe you want this to run forever where it just occasionally pings and says, any new weather? Yeah, so like your operating system might be another thing. In fact, you consider it an error when your operating system halts. When that program terminates, then that was because something went wrong. So operating systems, also something you want to run an infinite loop and so forth.